and this is my very first vlog! Ayan! Hello again, everyone! <laughs> so, medyo na-stress ako dun sa intro ko. Imagine two hours ko yung ginawa. Ah, hassled. But anyway, due to insistent public demand, so, um, hindi nga, marami kasing nag-suggest, why don't I make a video daw about many things Especially yung mga song covers ko na ginagawa ko sa, sa Smule. Uh, Follow me on Smule. Lalagay ko yung link sa... <laughs> but anyway, ayun nga. So I've decided to make a video about my Japan life. And paano nga ba ako nag-start in my Japan journey? And paano ako napadpa dito sa bansang Japan? Ayan. So... Sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, hindi po lahat ng OFW dito sa Japan or mga Pilipino dito sa Japan ay nagiging um, entertainers. <laughs> or sa mga sinasabi nila, Japan Yuki, hindi po. Okay, so I have been in Japan for two years now and I work as an ALT or Assistant Language Teacher. Ayan, yung trabaho ko po includes two major things. First is to teach English and the Japanese um, classrooms who tinuturuan ko pa 5th grade and 6th grade. So, ALT means assistant language teacher. So, from the word itself, my assistant. So, yung dapat, yung task namin talaga is to assist the Japanese teachers in teaching English in the classroom. Especially kasi bago pa sa kanila yung pag- um, incorporate ng English sa kanilang curriculum and not all Japanese teachers are confident yet sa pagtuturo ng English. That's where we come in to assist them. But most of the time, especially in my case, I do um, the main teacher's task. So, parang yung Japanese teacher yung nag-assist sa akin. Ay, pakikuha ng chop. Pakikuha ng... So, I, I design the lesson and then tinasabi ko sa uh, Japanese teacher, oh, this is what we're gonna do today. Ito yung task mo. Medyo mahirap, especially for me na hindi masyado marunong mo Japanese. But I survived naman. Mm -hmm. So, um, second major role for me is as um, a cultural ambassador. Oh, I thought of <laughs> cultural ambassador for Miss Universe. <laughs> So, you know, um, cultural ambassador for the Philippines. So, in my class, um, in insert ko po yung cultural awareness about the Philippines. So, I sometimes share um, videos or pictures about the Philippines, kano yung kinakain natin, kung ano yung um, popular games in the Philippines, kung ano yung classing um, education system meron tayo. Ayan. So let's go back to the question, how did I start my ALT journey? Paano ko nga ba sinimulan ang journey ko to come to Japan? In this video, I'm gonna share to you five important things to remember in chasing your dreams. Sa isang pangarap, ako'y naniniwala. Ayun, may pa-intermission sa tita. Ayun, so anyway, so the first thing to remember in chasing your dream for me is especially kung gusto mong mag-abroad, is mindsetting. For me, this is the very um, first thing you need to have talaga kung gusto mong may mangyari sa buhay mo. I mean, hindi naman sa wala nangyayari sa buhay mo ngayon. Kung gusto mo lang ng change, pagbabago. You gotta ask yourself, ano pa talaga gusto mo mangyari sa buhay mo? To stay or to go? Let me go. Let it go. So to set your mind, you have to consider so many things talaga. Ani sana doon yung ma maiiwanan mo. Your family, anak mo, trabaho mo, jowa. Kung wala ka naman jowa, ay deha na si Kego, mag-abroad kayo nang mahanap niyo na siya. <laughs> the next important thing for me is determination. You have to be determined. Ask yourself, gaano mo ka gustong baguhin ang buhay mo? In a scale of 1 to 10, being 10 is the highest. Tanungin mo sarili mo, gusto ko ba talaga to? Gusto ko bang gawin to? You know, ang pag OOF... Uh, 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 ang pag OOFW. Ayun, napugulol ako. Being an OOFW, hindi po siya parang laro-laro lang. It's not easy, believe me. 
especially kung gusto niyo maging um, ALT, kaya ko, or any other job. Pag, pag, paglabas naman sa hindi po madali. It would require so much effort, so much stress mentally, physically, emotionally, at lalong lalo na financially. So, kailangan maging handa ka, maging determined ka. So, after you've set your mind and alam mo na sa sarili mo that you're determined to do this, the next thing for you to do is to seek for opportunities. That's right. In my case, I signed up so workapro.ph it's a website kung saan yung mga employers nagpo post sila ng job for uh, because um, they're seeking for applicants of course so uh, usually um, employers or agencies dun mo makikita sa sa site na yon so in my case i used workabroad.ph so marami nagtanong sa akin before um may iba nga na nag nag private message sa akin kasi gusto nila magtrabaho sa Japan and they kind of told me like, Uy, ang swerte mo naman, may kapatid ka sa Japan. Siguro siya nabigay ng trabaho sa iyo. Bigyan mo naman ako ng trabaho, ganto ganyan. Tapos sabi ko, Madam, hindi po ako agency at hindi po ako binigyan ng kapatid ko ng trabaho sa Japan. So, what I did po is I shared to them na ito yung ginawa ko. Nag-sign up ako sa Work Abroad at PH at hindi po madali yung pinagdaanan ko. Bali, naghintay po ako ng very long time bago po dumating tong opportunity na to sa akin. So, for um, the process and how I did it uh, from the beginning, yung paggawa ng um, resumes, gano. I'm gonna explain it to you in the next video. So, this will be part one of how to live and work in Japan video. Kasi medyo napapahabang usapan na ito, kailangan na natin ng ano, pulutan. <laughs> Hindi nga. So, yeah, I'm gonna explain to you in another video soon, very soon. So, kung paano mag-sign up sa Work Abroad at PH and what agency yung in-applyan ko para makapunta ako dito sa Japan. If you wanna sign up as early as now, kasi hindi naman masyadong mahirap yung paggawa ng account or paghanap ng, ng Work Abroad through um, online, pro tip, dapat yung email address na, gina, uh, na gagamitin nyo will be different from the email address that you use for your social media, especially Facebook, or any social media kasi may tendency na kapag uh, may email or may updates from the agency or may natanggap kayo na invitation for interview may tendency kasi na masasapawan yung notifications from Facebook or any social media that you use so it is very important to uh, have a separate email address for that and also kung maghanap naman kayo ng agency make sure that the agency is POEA licensed or the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration. It is very important to avoid scam. Ang dami na po natin nababalita na nasa scam sila kasi yung mga agency na inapplyan nila ay peke, pinerahan sila, hiningan sila ng um, tawag dito placement fee, pero yun pala, hindi pala um, licensed yun, yun, yung job site, uh, I mean yung agency na yun, kaya ayun, problema. So, may ibang site, um, or may, may ibang agency din na license sila before. Kinaclaim nila na license sila, but they failed to, um, tawag dito, renew their license. So, hindi na pala sila valid. So, you also have to check on that. So, make sure to go to the POEA website or the Philippine Overseas Employment Agency and check, search nyo doon sa um, search bar yung license na pinapakita ng agency sa work abroad or any site na ginagamit ninyo. Ayan. Step number four. Don't stress. Okay. Gaya nga, sa, gaya nga ng sinabi ko earlier, I waited for almost two years bago ko um, nahanap tong opportunity na to. So, what did I do in those years na nasa pinas pa ko? So, what I did, nag-racket ako, nag-save ako ng pera para, kasi alam ko na magiging magastos eh. And I am determined. So, nag-save ako. Nag-tinda ako na kung ano-ano. Brownies, pampaganda, uh, bags, at kung ano-ano. So, I saved up. And wala lang. And enjoy ko lang yung moment na ganun. I just enjoyed the time while waiting for the opportunity. And so, the last but not the least is of course, pray. Pag-pray mo yan. Talagang yun yung pinaka uh, the best at pinaka importante bagay na dapat mong gawin kung may gusto kang makamit sa buhay mo. You have to to pray and have faith na makakamit mo yon. Otherwise, wala. Hindi ka mag 
wala lang. Pag hindi ka kasi, wala ka kasing faith, parang shallow ka or palutang-lutang ka lang. Hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin mo sa buhay mo, madedepress ka, gano'n. But anyway, medyo napahaba itong usapan natin for a first vlog. Medyo mahaba siya. So as promised, I'm gonna explain to you um, the other steps, like the, the process that I uh, went through sa pag-apply ko from application to interview hanggang sa pagpunta ko dito sa Japan in my next vlog, okay? So please, kung hindi nyo pa na-subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button para ma-updated kayo if ever na-upload ko na yung next vlog ko. Okay? So, I think I really have to stop talking now kasi nabubulol na ako. <laughs> but, yes. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope na may nalarn kayo sa akin today. And I hope na makapag-help pa ako sa inyo in the future if ever you're really planning to go abroad or to, to, to come to Japan. I'm gonna be the first person to welcome you. Yes. And <laughs> so, ayun. If you have questions and comments at may gusto ko yung um, isuggest na gawin ko sa vlog ko, please don't forget to type in the comment and ayun, subscribe! Thank you! Bye!